Hello everybody, welcome back. It is crunch time. I have a lot to do today. There's one job I gotta get done today. And I'm gonna get started on some other um, some other things. It's gonna be a nice week coming up. I really gotta take advantage of it. The weather is deteriorating fast. Um, it's almost October. <laughs> and uh, October's gonna do what October does. It's gonna go from pretty okay at the beginning, but by the end of the month, it's, uh, you know, in the coming four weeks or, or so. Yeah, I and uh, actually starting next week, it drops down to maybe 60 in a day and 40s at night. Uh, anyway, I got to get this job done uh, today and I got to get started on another one and another one tomorrow and I got to buckle down here and um, I got to knock some stuff out here quickly. Today, I need to replace the uh, the waste tank valves. Uh, that can be a dirty job, but it's, it's not going to be for me because I'm going to go through and I've already begun the process. When we first got out here to the campground, uh, of course, I got here and dumped. And, you know, the valves are on that side. And the uh, like most, uh, not all, but, you know, all dump stations should be, you know, the vehicle should be leaned this way so that you get a, a full dump there's a few out there that were designed wrong they actually lean that way so you don't get a full dump unless you put something under the uh back tires on the side and get you got to get your rig leaned that way if you really want to get your tanks empty so here we're already leaning but i'm going to go through the uh extra step of putting some under i, I really want to make sure i get like every last little bit out i can uh, back to when we first got here went ahead and just dumped like this so it was a pretty, pretty good dump. And then what I did was the, uh, and, and both tanks can get pretty nasty. Even obviously the black tank, you know, that's where they, you know, the toilet goes. Um, so I want to make sure that's empty before I go take the valves off of there. And the gray tank isn't much, <laughs> yeah, it's not as bad, but you know, gray tanks can get pretty smelly too. And that's, of course, that's where the, uh, um, the sink water goes from doing dishes or uh, washing up in the bathroom and the, the shower water so that's not as bad but like i say they can get pretty smelly so what i did was we dumped out and i filled um oh, and i did laundry over at camp so i used the bucket and i used i put all my wash water you know wash laundry with tide um i dumped that in the down the commode so there's about five gallons of tide water in the black tank that's been uh, sloshed around. And if you know from the, like the last video, we ran all the way back to the garage. I ran some errands and we come back. So all that's been in there, that tide water has been there sloshed around that black tank. And then the gray tank, I, I put household cleaner down the traps of the sinks and I ran them. And, you know, I did take a shower and, you know, dishes and stuff. So, uh, and I used plenty of water this, knowing that I'm, I want to clean that out uh give us a little better cleaning than usual i extra water in the uh, gray tank and uh, dumped a bunch of uh you know household cleaner down the traps and ran that in there so that's has sloshed around as well so what i'm going to do is now i'm going to dump I'm gonna go back to the garage and, and work on this i'm going to angle it and get a nice nice um complete dump out of that and then when i work on it i'm going to do the opposite i'm going to put the the wheel uh the levelers under this wheel and actually angle it a little bit that way so if there is anything at all still in them tanks um it would run to this side so i should be able to work on those uh valves without having any uh, any mess really and if there is it should be just like cleaner here we go i ran it up on those things i'll show you why i'm replacing these they do still work but they're getting they're getting a little bit iffy uh yeah, last thing you want to do is uh, have one of those fail uh, to where you can't pull it anymore and drain because then your tanks, you're stuck, you're full. And if you have to take that apart while they're full, that can be a disaster. So <laughs> you wouldn't want to do that. Um, so I want to replace them. They're getting kind of, they're getting a little iffy. Uh, so I want to replace them while they still operate and I can get in, you know, be able to drain them. All right, um, the first problem is actually half the handle is broke off from both of them. 
and uh, I don't want the handle to break off the rest of the way and have to try to grab with vice grips for one thing. The other is uh, the big black tank valve. It still seals good, but it's really, really stiff. And uh, like I say, half the handles broke off. It's it's so stiff it makes me pretty nervous that you know the the rest of that handle could break off. In the gray tank, uh, the gray valve. What's happened is it started leaking internally, just a little drip, drip, drip. And what happens is it accumulates behind this cap. And every time I take this off, you know, like a half a pint or something will come out. See, ooh, or a whole pint. Um, you know what? That's bad. That that should. You know, if you got that going on, um, need to fix it. You, you, you can't be doing that. <laughs> so um, that's the other part of it. Uh, what is it turned into more more than a drip? Well, this will be the last of it anyway. This problem will be solved, and there'll be no more of this. That's no, no. See, this is bad. Only half the handle. You know, you can't even grip it with two two fingers anymore. You got to grab this lower one and and pull and pull. Come on. <laughs> there it goes. See, that's, uh, sometimes it's worse than others. That's, <laughs> I don't want to get in a situation where I can't drain that black tank. You know, that's from the, that's from the toilet. <laughs> no, but it'd have to take that apart and then, and just come, oh, what a, no, 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 no. So, you know, if you have some that are getting funny, uh, man, fix them before they fail completely. All right. All right, so all that tide water, you know, if all that wash water's been in there sloshing around, probably give that a good, good rinsing out. Probably better than I've ever, ever done it. And then, uh, yeah, this one should still work freely, but like I say, it leaks. I'll give the hose a good shaking when the, uh, when the gray tank is draining. All soapy soapy. That's what we want. Alright, I'll finish up and get this put away. We'll get down the garage and get this thing apart. We are back at the garage. I've already got uh, started here a little bit. Uh, yeah, we're up on some pretty nice blocks here. The coachman's leaning that way now. So anything should be, uh, any little bit that might have remained should be on that side of the tank. Not here at the valves. And I just spared, I spared you just in case, <laughs> just in case there was a surprise. Uh, I put this big tote, uh, or uh, mixing tub, whatever, under here. Uh, took the cap off, opened both valves. So just in case there was a surprise, <laughs> I didn't bother recording it. Uh, yeah, but we're good. Just had a, a wee little bit of liquid there. Uh, other than that, both valves are open. I think we're uh, safe to proceed. These bolts on this bigger one, on the black tank valve, are, they are, well, all these bolts have seen better days. But these are, uh, I think I can manage these ones without any problem. I already tried these, actually, last evening at camp. I thought, let me see if any of them bolts are going to cooperate. And the smaller ones, uh, on the gray tank valve, there is not much there to grab hold of. Um, I did get enough bite on it that it spins, but um, the whole bolt spins. There's just, these heads are so thin on this end. We might have to do that little trick uh, we did with the exhaust manifold bolt. I, I might have to grind, oops, sorry. <laughs> I might have to cut those, uh, cut those heads off and then just push the bolt out. They did come with all new bolts, so I just have to be careful not to damage uh, that center piece there. You can see that's the valve. That center piece there, uh, not worried about it. It's getting replaced, but the, the piece on the left and the piece on the right, um, you know, that's the piece on the left is part of this, right? And the piece on the right is part of that. It has that flange on there. Um, gotta be careful not to damage either one of those end pieces. So, Anyway, so I gotta grind the head of that bolt off without damaging that. Um, get those bolts out of there. Uh, yeah, the smaller one looks like it's gonna be the tougher one. Let me see where my tool's at. Okay, this is a uh, pneumatic uh, die grinder and we have this uh, solid carbide burr on it. It will eat through just about anything. 
it will make very short work of those. Um, so I know I got those handled, but let's see if I get these bigger ones not broke loose. Let's see what I'm up against. Because while while I have the die grinder out, I may be doing. <laughs> they all might maybe getting a uh, ground off. I don't know yet. Let's see if I have any luck here. So unfortunately, it would have been nice if they would have used stainless, uh, good quality stainless bolts on these. And may, the new one might have came. Uh oh. Ooh. I think the new one, they look like they're stainless. Uh, this original, keep in mind, this thing's like, I'm sure these are probably the original valves. And like, uh, I think it's coming. I'm going to work it back and forth a little bit. I did soak these down a couple times with uh, PB Blaster penetrating foil. I'll probably have to work this back and forth. It is coming. Uh, this might take some patience. <laughs> They're probably gonna need to walk back and forth a few times. If I just go to crank them the whole way off, they'll probably snap, but, which is okay, I got all new bolts. Oops, am I in the way there? Yeah, so that one broke off, which is okay. We got all new bolts. I just gotta get that broken piece out of the end of the socket. Grab a little punch or screwdriver. All right, just as well. It's probably easier that they just snap off. <laughs> we're down to the last one we're, we've been lucky they uh they all just uh snapped and uh that, you know, that sort of thing just makes it so much easier and i can just pull this it'll just pull apart and, uh, as long as this last one snaps we'll be in business could we possibly be so lucky that all four just snap off and then if we get the little one goes smoothly heck we'll have this done in no time Okay, that's about as good as she's gonna get. You guys might be in the way. Come on, snap. Or just crank off the whole way, that's fine too. Just just come on off. Well. It's getting tighter. All right, Ooh. <laughs> you guys all right? You guys, I knocked you guys down. Uh, yep, it snapped too. So this bell should be, uh... oh yeah, she's loose. That's just because he's bolt. I'm going to pull these bolts out now. All right, let's see what the other one's going to do. And there they are, four broken bolts. And uh, it's, uh... All right, let's move on. I don't know if this is good luck or bad luck. Uh... The one I tried last night at camp, uh, it ended up spinning. So, uh, there's not going to be enough grip to snap that. And there's just not enough to grab a hold here with anything. Not even my tiny little vice grips. So, um, that's the one i got to plow. i got to at least plow that one off. And the one on the opposite side, which is harder to get to, um, the top one, snap, uh, the bolt snapped off. The bottom one here, the bolt snapped off. So, but... They're kind of stuck in that plastic. I got I got a little punch, so I try you know maybe I can get them moving and tap those out. That might be a little bit of a gentle operation, but uh, I, I did take those bolts, and got those out of there. So we are off the uh, uh, the big one, the black tank valve. Well, if I can just deal with these, and I switched over to uh, the other. This one's a little more aggressive. The other one just, uh, it was doing it, but uh, taking his time about it. This will get him off a little, uh, little easier. Well, I should say, uh, you get the idea. You, know, you got to get those four bolts out of there. I struggled. I struggled. Uh, had to fight some of them. So I wouldn't take this on unless, uh, uh, you know, if you're out there considering doing this job yourself, I wouldn't take this on unless you was prepared to... Either you're really good at messing around with old rusty bolts without damaging uh, the plastic, you know, the PVC part. Or uh, be prepared to buy this piece too. Uh, I would imagine that because most RV places carry these, you know, these valves, I need to go get the new ones. I'll, I'll bring the new ones down, I'll show you. Um, I would be prepared to, uh, the, the big ones per, is much more durable. The little one's a little more delicate. I'd be, be prepared to buy this. Uh, maybe I'll just go ahead and do it ahead of time. 
is good and buy this uh, this piece. Now, if they sell the valve, they probably sell this piece that goes with it. And it's just the PVC cement on. You know, maybe cut it and put a collar. Maybe just put a new one of these on. Be prepared that you might run into. I think I can salvage this one. Kind of. From grinding them bolt heads off, it kind of, on two of them, it deformed, you know, it got so hot, uh, the bolt did, uh, you know, it softened the plastic, it kind of got a little bit melty, not not real bad, uh, I can file that off a little bit, uh, I think it'll be alright, so, yeah, I think I can get away with using this old one, but it was close, <laughs> and, we're not, and we're not done yet, this is still stuck to, this one is still stuck to this one, so I have to get this old valve, off of this piece um, and then we should be home free if I can get that off su successfully I guess I should be able to just give this one a, I was going to say a yank but no it's not much on there the old uh, rubber seals probably it probably came, it came off with it so I have to clean these up and uh, put the new seal on there and uh, yeah it's probably going to be one of them deals where I'm going to try to get it on the edge of a vise. And I don't know if you guys are blocking my, I need my hammer and my punch probably. This is probably going to be, I'm going to have to catch an edge somehow. Hmm? Oh, I'm not liking that. I am not liking that. At least if I get one of them out, then I can just pivot. Um, that changes the game. Hmm? Come out of there. I think, I, I think if I can just get one of them, one of the two out, I bet I'll spin the whole thing then on the other one and break it loose that way. Come on, hold still. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, did I break? Haven't broke it yet. And then with this one, if I can get the whole this whole valve to rotate a little bit. No, there's a counterbore and stuff in there. Hmm. Hmm. All right, we'll just get a little more forceful with it. Keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> you boy. This is not looking too good. I need a socket. That's what we need. I think what I need is just the right size socket to support that the whole way around. All right? Not liking it. Oh, maybe. Oh, we got some movement now. <laughs> All right. Now. Let's go back to the uh, trusty vice grips. Of course, I probably, or the punch. I think I want to go back to the vice grips. I'll give her a little twist back and forth. Where is it? This one. Or not. It's okay, it's moving. We'll, I mean, we'll, we can drive it out with a punch if we have. All right, it's getting looser. All right, come on. There, had a girl. Like I'm talking to Bella or something. But we're home free now. Come on. 
Come on. Well, at least it's loose from the part I need to keep. I need to drive it uh, the rest of the way out of this valve, which, so what if we ruin it? We don't need to keep it, right? Oops, what am I knocking over now? <laughs> Come on. Oops. I'll knock you. Oops. <laughs> I'll knock you guys over. Okay. I think we may have done it. All right. I'm going to clean some parts up here a little bit. All right, here's where we are. I had to do a little bit of cleanup work. I took this whole fitting that, uh, how's that go again? Yeah, the, the big one, it's the black tank over on the left. That's the gray tank. The new seals go on here, so we went in and cleaned that, give them a good scrubbing and rinsing and drying off. Nothing to do here, that's just where that cap goes on the end or your, uh, or your uh, drain hose when you're uh, at the dump station. So uh, get new gaskets on here, new seals, and they're all on these valves. We'll get these valves out in a second. They, they'll have a mating, just like there's a seal that goes on there. There's a mating surface on both on the tank. So let's go over there just a second. I already have those. Wait a minute. So we cleaned those up real good too. So we got the portable cleaning kit. Soaked it down with spray nine. Nice uh, scrub brush, uh, portable rinse, <laughs> rinse cycle, and, uh, and blew them off with the air hose actually. So everything is good and clean. And there they are. So I'll get that seal out of each kit and I'll put, I'll put the seal on this one, put the seal on this one. This is probably a good job to use uh, petroleum jelly around those, put the seal on them. And just uh, put on every surface front and back. And I, I think this would be a good application to, to use that. And it'll, it'll also help hold the seals in place while I'm assembling things. Yeah, I think that's a thing to do. All right, I think we're already down here. We have all the hardware and the tools for the big valve side. And the hardware and tools for the little valve side. And the seals are all on there. And I'm going to go get the other piece. Get it down here and move on. Okay, these are all ready. These just should. <coughs> Come on, get on now. Let's see. There. Oh, what's the trick here? The other one went on. On the mating part. I guess you gotta have, I guess you have to use 18 fingers. Am I doing something wrong? Oh, there it goes. I was trying to put it over the, all right. So that's on, gonna stay put. And then the, the little one, I test fitted it. The little one actually just goes on really easy. It just sits on there. And it is trapped by that. There's that little diameter that sticks out a wee little bit to kind of, it can't go anywhere. So, I think we are ready to, you know, do the assembly part. Okay, and I'll throw this in there real quick too is Little tip is don't ever expect things to seal properly if you don't like I say, clean things thoroughly. And uh, that's that's the big part of it. Clean stuff. Make sure it's clean. Alright, so which one do I <laughs> which one do I do here? Let's put the whoops, sorry guys. Let's put this little one in first, I think. Yeah, I think we're going to do it this way. Put the bolts in from the back. Come on, there you go. And let's put it in the back here. 
Wait a minute. What's the, what's the problem here? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, the seal is in place. Let's just double check that before it goes on. Let's just get these started on two. All right. Mm-hmm. And what the heck must have stick the other two in it. You know, things are going so well, right? And then stick this piece on. Gently. Just let's just go on just gently. Alright. We got both uh both seals. This definitely needs to go like that. Uh yeah, this definitely needs to point out like so. It's just uh hmm. Should probably get a little better angle for this one. Should be plenty of play here to do this. I say be careful not to dislodge any seals. Mm -hmm. What's going to be the trick here? So what's what's going what's going on here? Uh, well, this is going to be maybe a little bit of a trick. Maybe I need to... <laughs> Hang on, we're going to have to back up. I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did that it's like all jammed up. <laughs> okay, I made the mistake of not just go ahead and put, putting the first one on the whole way. Uh, letting it get at a weird angle and getting in a bind. Uh, that was a mistake. Um, let's go ahead and put this on here and... Uh, snug a couple of these on and uh, at least get them snug because it needs to be back far enough for this one to line up <laughs> and uh, there's enough room there's enough play in this this pipe that you know I could pull it away to get the valve in and then do it but this needs to be on the whole way um, that's the trick to it why fight it Dave why fight it okay. we'll jump ahead here I don't think these need to be very tight Oh, uh, it just, it just, I don't think it's made to be tight, tight. Uh, pretty snug. I don't know, a gentle tight. They do have these, uh, what do you call these? They have a, they're serrated on the bottom. It's kind of a locking, uh, type of a locking nut where that surface, uh, kind of bites in. So as you tighten it up, you know, that, especially on plastic, uh, snug them up. That's going to kind of easily kind of bite into the plastic a little bit to keep it from getting loose so i got them all pretty a pretty healthy snug i'm gonna leave it and then once i start putting water back in the tank if i see um any dripping which i don't know why it would um i mean i could always snug them a little bit more uh, hmm and look look look, look, look just see. nice huh nice and smooth operation let me get this other one here. Let's get the uh, the valve in there. All right, both the seals are, and they're like just have to hold up on it a little bit. See, you should probably just pull it away. Put this in here gently. I'll put it back. It's got a bolt there. And a bolt there. Okay, let me get one up here. Nice. Okay, it's going good. Nothing to find the other ones. All right. This, uh, overall, not a bad, not too bad of a job. I think the biggest thing would be, obviously, if the, uh, is to prep for it proper. This could be the nastiest job ever if you didn't really take the time to you know, clean the tanks out proper and then tilt yeah you know, tilt the rig the right way <laughs> you can see how things will get bad like pretty quick all right and get that top one on and get let's get this one on mm -hmm. 
Right. Looking good here. What'll be nice is it would not, obviously with the problems fixed, the little one doesn't drip uh, internally and in the big one uh, uh, operates smoothly. That would be, that would be quite nice. Mm -hmm. We'll see, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna get tugging on anything until this is snug down. Okay. Hmm. Well, seems to work okay. Let's just hope it, uh, just hope everything's still okay. Put the cap back on it. Should be done. Well, I guess there's no way to try it without putting some water in them tanks. Well, I can hear water running. I just ran, uh, I just ran a sink for you know, probably a minute. And it's a three gallon per minute tank, or pump. So I don't see any, any leaks, externally anyway. And same thing, I filled the, uh, the toilet up with the, uh, ran that uh, valve. About the same amount of time. Wonder what's going on on here. And look, <laughs> the the uh, doesn't look like the little valve's leaking anymore. I think three gallons in each tank is uh, uh plenty. I mean, it is right on the low spot. Of course, I should put the RV back down. Okay, remember it's up this way, so make sure it all runs out here. I pulled it up. It's back down on the ground. Actually, the uh, the driveway actually leans a little bit left uh so it's it's going this way and of course both valves are shut do you see any dripping down here anywhere the bottoms are the bottoms are dry anything coming out of here <clears throat> nothing nice we're done it's fixed on to the next stuff okay